Shotguns are the most popular self-defense tools, with good reason, because they work. Now, Bill Davidson with TACPRO, you got a lot of military experience, a lot of training experience. What is it about shotguns that makes them so popular? It's just that, sir, really. Uh, they always work. Where sometimes people engage with a pistol or even a carbine and they don't get a direct result. Inside a building, inside a close range, shotgun always works. The only problem with the shotgun is it was originally designed as a hunting weapon with a pattern that at 40 yards was maybe six, seven feet. And right. what we've done is we've taken that weapon now and turned it into a close quarter combat weapon where it, you know, 10 yards is huge, you know, yeah, 10 feet is, is more like it. Yeah, I mean, it's really, it's almost like shooting one projectile mm -hmm. at that Yeah, distance. with modern day double O buck and number four buck at 10 yards, which is 30 feet, we're still getting two inch Groups. Which means you have to aim. Which means you have to aim. And to aim, you need size. Now this is what comes on a typical shotgun. It's just a bead. That's right, yeah. And originally, when it was designed, that was okay. That was exactly, you just had to get the bead in front of what you wanted to shoot and pull the trigger. Right. Now we're using it more as a carbine, and we want to look at a set of sights and pick out exactly where we want the pattern to go. Okay, well this is what excess sights has been doing. One of the things. Absolutely, yeah. What you have here is a great big front sight, easy to pick up. And frankly, even if this is all you do, Mm -hmm. This is going to help you a lot. Yeah, this is a huge improvement. We've taken that little bead away and put a front sight on there that you can actually look at and use to do accurate fire with. Now, the progression from that, of course, is once you go from just the front sight, is you actually need a set of sights. If we're going to go to slugs, we actually need a set of sights. We need to be at a... You need a rear sight and a front, and a front sight. sight. Okay, yeah. well, that's what we have here, of course. And here, of course, we've decked it out. We have a light, which is also mm -hmm. an important yeah, tool to have. It's always best to be able to identify the threat, and it's nice to say, well... I illuminated him and I saw he was a threat and now he's not a threat. Okay, so you have the excess sights front sight, which again, these are mountable on any shotgun. Absolutely, yeah. They have they systems have to mount on any kind of shotgun. And you have this rear rail and a ghost string back mm -hmm. here. And this is the key, because now we can actually turn the carbine into a, a shotgun into a carbine by changing the sighting system, putting slugs in there. Uh, we shoot them out to 200 yards on pepper poppers. Really, with this? Class, with this sight system, yeah. So it's not only fast, but it's accurate. Absolutely, and being fast and accurate is two thirds of the problem. The last third of the problem is to be trained out to do it. Well, it's, you know, as we always say, you know, this is the hardware, you still mm -hmm. need the software, and that's the training part of it. That's right, so and it's gonna get more advanced as we go on, and you know, this one's already got the Picatinny rail on. They can go to electronic sights, red dots, and all that as well. Okay, well Excess Sights has sights for your shotgun, a shotgun's a good tool. A shotgun is a great tool for home defense, but you have to have a set of sights on it. Why is that? Well hopefully by now most people understand that a, you need sights on a shotgun because you can't put it into a room and it's just going to spread out and hit everything to the room. That's not the way it works. You have to aim this just like you would a rifle or a pistol. So the excess sights has a ghost ring on the back, which is nice, and then the front is basically a night sight with wings on it. Protects the sight if you were to bump into anything or that kind of thing. So let's shoot this on target with some buckshot and show you what it looks like. We're backed up to seven yards here. That's 21 feet, pretty much as big as any room you would ever actually shoot in. And as you can see, all the shots are still on target. That's why you need sights on a shotgun.